You're watching the 420 Pace Network, found at 420radio.ca and paceradio.net. You're watching the Three High Guys with Al, MJ, and the other Al on the 420 Pace. The opinions of the individuals during this broadcast are their own and may not be the opinions of their group or other organizations they may be involved with. All medical advice during our broadcast is not a medical opinion and should be checked with your medical physician. Uh, still jamming. <laughs> Hi, Good morning. welcome to Good the morning. first episode of what we're calling the second season, even though there really wasn't a first season. <laughs> And uh, I'm Al Rap, and I am the founder of 420radio.ca and the host of the 420 Radio Show, which I do with Miss Mary Jane. That's me. My name is Mary Jane Baker. I'm also one half of a podcast called The Newbie and the Doobie. I'm the Doobie. Thus, I'm going to spark up and pass it on up to Al. All right. Hey, I'm Al. I'm the other Al. <laughs> yeah, Al Graham, paceradio.net is uh, where you'll find me and all the broadcasting uh, that we do there. And, um, you know, I'm the founder of it and uh, always appreciate all the work that uh, our hosts do for the network. Yeah, we're going to spend uh, this show getting to know you. For some of you, you know us. Some of you, you don't. Some of us, you won't get to know us because you'll leave. <laughs> and in which case, peace. <laughs> but, but uh, you know, uh, as far as, you know, to get to know us a little bit more, uh, Al, uh, we're all patients, right? We are. Yes, we all are. Uh, I uh, have some mental health issues that I use cannabis for, as well as uh, um, uh, those little tiny golden looking things that sprout out of your grass and look at you. <laughs> I didn't think they had eyes. Have you have you got shrooms growing out in the field yet, Al? Mm, no, the, I think they came and went. Mm. Yeah, uh, they were here when I got here. My lawn was full of them, but now I cut my lawn. So <laughs> I thought you were going to say I ate them all. No, you know what? Um, I, I, I've, looked, I've looked at a lot of uh, uh, books and stuff like that, but I don't know how to identify them, and I'm scared, <laughs> quite frankly. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Because back in the day, I used to just go to the guy in grade twelve and be like, Psst, "Hey, hey." Can you get me some mushrooms? I was never worried then. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> but there's a lot of uh, um, there are a lot of strains out there in the woods mm. that will kill you. Well, yeah, well, yeah, you should know what you're eating, right? I'm like, yeah. let's let's just not even talk about poisonous mushrooms. Let's just right, talk about exactly. like psychedelic well, no, mushrooms because if you you want to talk about something like penis envy. That won't kill you, but yeah, it but sure will fuck me right? up. Psilocybin is okay. a poison, though. You have to remember that, Mary Jane. Psilocybin as a whole, magic mushrooms, is a poison. You're introducing a poison into your body. Well, well see, after, I, after I, you ingest that poison, it's a miracle at what happens. I mean, for me, I don't take uh, any, any uh, depressants anymore. I only mm -hmm. take stuff for my diabetes and my cholesterol and stuff like that. And so that I can still pee in the morning, right. um, which I will probably try and cut back once I have my own oil supply. You know, when you don't have your own oil supply, you can't, you can't start and then stop. You have to, mm -hmm. you know, All have right. enough to do this, the treatment. Shall we continue with the intro? Sure. Yeah. Mary Jane. Oh, me next. Okay. Yeah. Um, I am also a cannabis patient. Um, let's see, I've been using it for, I don't want to tell you how many years, cause then you'll know how old I am, but I'll just say most, <laughs> most of my life. And yes, I look good for my age, just so you know. Uh, and fucking sunshine girl, give me a break. Well, it's early. It's still early. Um, I will say that, uh, I do also dabbled like Al with, uh, magic mushrooms. I wasn't going to, I wasn't going to ask you that because um, I wasn't. Sure, well, I do. So I suffer. Uh, I'm not I'm not shy about this because I learned through talking about this that 
there are more women that have this that don't actually know that they have this because they just chalk it up to premenstrual syndrome. But there's this something called premenstrual dysphoria disorder, PMDD for short. Mm -hmm. And um, it is it's almost unbearable to manage because it's kind of like depression and psychosis combined, but for like three, four days. So mm. you can't treat it with traditional antidepressants or antipsychosis medication because that's like Al saying, you got to stay on a regimen. It's like every day you got to take this thing. And I only need it four days a month. So that's where mm. psilocybin really comes in and helps me. Um, it's the only thing that I've, I've been brave enough to dabble in. Like I've heard that um, ketamine might actually be beneficial. Yeah, so I'm don't, currently don't, trying don't, to get don't, don't. a physician to to actually walk me through the process of um, because obviously if it's not what I need, I don't want to take it. And I know psilocybin works, but we're talking in like 0. 0.01 doses. Yeah, well, I only do um, one point five to <laughs> two. So. Point yeah, see, that's that's yeah. not a microdose. Anything lower than a point two is a microdose, and I take a micro yes. microdose. <laughs> yes, yeah, but people are starting to microdose with with uh, uh, cannabis greens and stuff as well. So, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. micro greens as well. So, yeah. yeah, well, they say juicing cannabis has like some oh god, no. awesome <laughs> no, medicine. thank you. That's oh, something based. you have to like to do. Oh, it's them. disgusting. But I mean, yeah. if you can take a shot of wheatgrass, you can take a shot of cannabis juice. Kelly Same. Kelly keeps telling me to take a shot of castor liver oil. And I'm like, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> I do that oil of oregano. That shit no, burns. That be instant heartburn. Yeah. Yeah, but it works. So I, I, I don't have any <laughs> sinus problems. <laughs> As far as myself, I have Crohn's disease. I've had it for over 20 years now. Uh, been using cannabis all the way along. And because of my cannabis use, I have only had prescriptions for opiate drugs while I was hospitalized. I am surgery free. Uh, mind you, I have been taking biological drugs in order to help with my Crohn's disease. Uh, mm -hmm. I did have a period there of a couple of years where I didn't take them and I was just relying on the cannabis, but unfortunately I, I got ended up getting hospitalized. So mm -hmm. one thing leads to another. And uh, I'm also a um, cancer survivor as well. It's something I don't usually talk about too often. It's just, you know, it came and it went. Uh, I, I used uh, cannabis oil on it uh, up until my surgery date. I was trying to, you know, if it got to a point where the spot was reduced uh, significantly or anything visually like that, I would have, uh, you know, talked to my surgeon and seen if we could, could delay things. Mm -hmm. While I saw changes in the um, appearance, uh, I did not um, see any, anything get smaller. But the good news is that uh, it did not get into my lymph nodes. So there's a good possibility that maybe the cannabis oil uh, slowed it down. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so because it never got into my lymph nodes, I'm presently a nine-year survivor of melanoma. So. That's awesome. I'm glad you're still here. Yeah, same here. <laughs> and I, I feel like this would be a good time to mention this because you, I'm, I'm very proud that you're able to sit there and say, you know, like cannabis has been able to take me away from a lot of pharmaceuticals. Mm -hmm. And I just want to say to those people, because I know I've dealt with a lot of patients in the past and some of them feel really, really down when they have to take any sort of pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical. Like when you said, you know, I had, I went into the hospital and I had to take it. Um, I just wanted to tell those people like, if you need pharmaceuticals and you're you're a strong like cannabis yeah. is my everything there's no shame in in needing any sort of no exactly it's because cannabis is a medicine just like um tums will help you with heartburn do you know yeah. what i mean cannabis yeah. won't help you with heartburn so take yeah. the tums <laughs> yeah yeah the um it's it's you know i have no problem saying mm -hmm. that i'm also having to take prescription drugs but i can yeah. tell you that 
the cannabis has re significantly reduced the yep. cost when it comes to because um, we were on you know our the government funded uh, uh, on the prescription end of things because my costs yep. are too much, but um, I've been able to sell save the healthcare system because I've been willing to grow my own cannabis. You can't, you know, one of the things that uh, most people don't know is uh, if you are a legal medical cannabis patient in Canada, you can claim that on your taxes as you would your prescriptions from the pharmacy. If yeah, you have, yeah. But yeah. only from the legal it's prescribed. Pharmacy. Correct. That's right. Yeah. That's from the legal market and you can get uh, a percentage of your tax back. Okay. That's right. Well, just like you do if you pay for your pills and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, but I will say don't try and submit a reservation cannabis business because they won't accept it. <laughs> I'm I'm curious. They probably wouldn't even take um, a recreational store receipt. This is what I'm curious because it has to be from yes, your medical I, provider. I, 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 if you are licensed, then yes, it has to be a legal entity. So that's the only place that you can purchase no. cannabis legally. No, no, to, no, not medic to, not no, medically. Unless out. you're going, unless you're going through the medical system, that's where well, you that's have. What, that's the one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you're a medical patient and you go to the recreational store and buy drinks or edibles and stuff, that does not count towards your tax reduction. You have to order it through your medical provider. Where it's prescribed. Yeah. 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 The, um, so uh, what can people expect? Yeah. Today? What can people, we've done our intros. What can people expect today on the broadcast? Oh. 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 Well, I got, I got, I got my first high five list. Okay, so you got a high five list. High five. Uh, yeah, and Mary Jane, what can we? What's coming out of you today? We're going to be. Oh, I've got some tips for you for life and to make you feel just a little better, more rested in the morning, and events, upcoming events. Upcoming events. Yes, I'm super excited. Some really good ones. And I'm going to be covering some sports news, cannabis sports news. Sports shorts. Sports shorts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And and uh, later on, all in the seventies, Daisy Dukes. <laughs> Daisy Dukes. Okay. And uh, later on, we're also going to. I got some recipes as well. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. And it's something I think is probably great for the summer. Oh, within that yeah. recipe. Yeah, and and uh, right. I I can do a little movie review. I kind of sort of saw Deadpool versus. Wolverine the other day. Me too. So good. We can bounce on that. And, All right. And uh, other than that, we're just going to, you know. If anybody wants to add a comment, whatever, get involved in the conversation out there in social media land, by all means, um, get involved in the conversation. And oh, yeah. And we'll also be answering questions. Yeah. 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 Have questions. That's what okay. I like doing this mostly is that when people ask us questions, one of us will know the answer, and if we don't, somebody will find the re find it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Google's not that far away, right? No, no. And so, all righty. Oh, so, do you want to? Should we do our first little commercial? Do our first commercial, and we'll come back with the health end of the broadcast. All righty. All right. We'll right back. The health end. Do we have? Do we have a thing for the health end? No, yes. we don't have one yet. Well, Where? it's in a, it's into the entertainment one. <laughs> I will I will make an intro for next week for the the segment. All yes. right. Well, I'll just play the entertainment one then. We'll I was excited up. for the entertainment. I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you looking for nonstop, continuous cannabis and psychedelic programming? If you are, then turn your browsers to 420radio.ca or paceradio.net where you will find the 420 Pace Rerolled Saturday. Everything gets started at 8 a.m. Eastern, Saturday morning. All oh, right. sorry. Bam. <laughs> and we're back. We are back with the uh, morning. It's funny, it said entertainment and, and events, but instead we are going to do the morning uh, health health and wellness segment. Um, I'd like to start it this morning. I thought it was very fitting to do a phrase or a statement, motivational quote, if you will. 
Um, fitting that it's our first show. So the phrase is, you don't have to be perfect when you start, but you need to start if you ever expect to be perfect. So we don't expect this show to go perfectly, but we started it. <laughs> so that is the quote for the day. If there's something that you've been thinking about doing and things are just not perfect, you don't have all the, the T's crossed and the I's dotted, just go and do it. Just start and believe me, everything will fall into place. And if it doesn't, you'll deal with it then. If you don't do anything, you don't go anywhere. Okay. Um, well, do... you know, you, you can travel on Google Maps very easily. So that's not completely yes. <laughs> Well, the theory is if you have a boat in the ocean and it's going straight, you're going to end up here. But if you deviate even ever so slightly that small change is going to end up drifting you so far away from where you were intending on going that if this is where you want to go, just make that small shift. And even a small shift will be, will be huge in the end is what It'd I'm be saying. significant in the end. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 And um, my health tip for the day actually was something I researched for myself because you guys said, let's do a morning podcast. And I was like, okay, I'm not coming and doing it before 10 a.m. Because there's no way I'm going to be up and ready before that. Because I stay up way too late. I'm always tired. Even when I get like 10 hours sleep, I wake up tired. I take naps all the time. Like I don't understand what's wrong with me. And then I figured it out. I'm not following the 10, 3, 2, 1, 0 rule. And I know it's a big rule. But there's a reason why they call it the 10, 3, 2, 1, 0 rule is because 10 hours before bed, no more caffeine. Three really? hours before bed, no more eating or drinking. <gasps> Two hours before bed, no more work. <gasps> and this is the one that I guarantee you we all don't listen to and I, I'm struggling with this because one hour before bed, no more technology, no more screen time. No! <laughs> and the zero, the zero is the number of times you hit the snooze on the alarm in the morning. Hey, what happened? Yeah. I get All of those, <laughs> apparently, you're not supposed to feel tired. It's supposed to help you get rest. Oh. So. The only thing I've done out of that list is I've I've tried to stop taking my cell phone to bed with me. I leave it in the living room, but I'm usually up at four or five in the morning. And of course, the first thing I do is go get my phone. Do you have a TV in your room? No. Yeah. See, I watch the only television thing I have up in my until room, bed. Drinking the electronics. In my room is Mr. Electronics. Google. I have my Google <laughs> speaker and yeah. I... Uh, almost the, the literally you've heard me say this before Mary Jane the last thing you will hear me say on any given night before mm -hmm. I go to bed is hey Google play white noise and then I'm out yeah. I don't hear a thing when I have guests here I don't hear them peeing and pooping because I'm right beside the, the bathroom and the dog doesn't hear other dogs barking at night or anything rustling outside because if she hears a bear she's like oh, oh. yeah you know, you you have a dog, Al, you know. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know. Yeah, I know. yeah, of course, like, I know all of the things where it's, like, remove the technology from the bedroom, you yeah. know, like. Um, but isn't TV technology? Absolutely, you shouldn't have a TV in your bedroom. Yeah, they say you if you need, yeah. like, light from your alarm clocks and stuff, you should. Like, I sleep with a sleep mask over. No. Over eyes and i i play rain sounds too because i can't because i literally like i said up I, until bedtime i'm watching tv drinking my tea playing angry birds no wonder why i don't sleep or well i um uh, i have a trouble with my adhd i have uh trouble shutting things off and so the from the white noise it's great uh, kind of stops it and but sometimes i have to literally tell myself to shut the fuck up i don't have a tv in my room because it's in my guest room yeah. <laughs> uh yeah. but it's 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 
I can't have just nothing uh, because I'll start listening for birds or rustling outside or, mm-hmm. you know. Scary noises. Yeah, I know. I know. Noises. Scary noises. They're not so mysterious. I know. You can hear the are. birds now, can't you? Yes. I know from researching, um, ten, is it tonight tennis or tonight is yeah, whatever that yeah. ringing is in your ears? Because right. yeah. um, yeah. my it's friend during COVID, when she got sick, she that's what she had that for like a month and a half, a ringing oh, in her yeah. ears. And um, that's what they say to do is to listen to a white noise. Do not sit in a quiet room because the white noise will actually help drown out. It does. The yeah, but you, it helps drown it out, but you can still hear it. Yeah, I, I, I also. Yeah, I've gone to a hearing specialist too. In the uh, living room, I I can I hear. Uh, I usually have the fan on in the living room, um, and and I don't have AC. So what I do is I turn the fans on in the bathroom and the kitchen, and it takes all the hot air out, right? So that muffles. I've always used fans as a shut off from my yeah head. yeah. Right. All right. And before we deviate from health and wellness, just yeah. want to say it is National 80s Month with the holiday coming up on the 8th because it's 08-08. Um, thus the 80s workout gear. Um, so if you're going to look for a workout today, go and look up an 80s workout. Go look for aerobics. I guarantee you, you're going to have fun. It's going to be a laugh and the music's awesome. So Good. There we go. All righty. Al, you're you up. Look, you, you look very, very uh, Olympic-y. Olympic-y. <laughs> <laughs> I need my list. I have my first five hive list, and I'm going to just get it here. And what we're going to be talking about, I will tell you after I play this. It's certainly high on the list. Oh, oh, it was so nice. I wanted to play it twice, <laughs> twice because I'm certainly high on this list. Um, <laughs> being being in Northern Ontario, I'm finding it rather hard for, uh, I'm way, where am I here, Al? Can you help me? Uh, yeah, I, you. I am on, on the. You're above that you? top line. We're <laughs> you're like, above you know? the red line. <laughs> yeah, you're above the. You're, yeah, you're above that red hey, line. Yeah. Up there, I'm up here. Yeah, man. Yeah. So it's been hard. It's been a struggle. Uh, last year, I didn't do too well because uh, I had uh, a little male issues. Those fucking guys just walked in and just took over. Um, and then this year, I had a hard time getting seeds started because of where we are. Uh, I am at the very northern tip of Lake Superior now, not in Toronto. Um, and you can call me officially Northern Ontario Al. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because I'm you more are. Northerner than you. NOA. 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 <laughs> Coming to a network near you. So, I, uh, I don't know to... why that's so funny. Oh, it's fucking hilarious. Thank you for that. <laughs> Um, I'm not going to get into what's written here, but what I'm going to get into is there's one, two, three, four, five, six strains here that they suggest that work up here in Canada. And we'll, we'll, we'll talk a little bit about why. Uh, and the reason is, is getting to know the area. We have a very short Mm -hmm. growth season, uh, to the point where I had to invest in a greenhouse. So mm-hmm. that I can go in, I can literally go into December now. What was the temperature this morning? Uh, eight degrees. All right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it, Ridiculous. Uh, Send that August, this way. August 6th, and it was eight degrees, and it's only going up to 20 today. It's uh, right now, it's 18 the in the house. Is good for your, 20 is good for outdoor growing, outside, but 17 downstairs, and uh, 17 in the grow room. Or in the grow in the uh, what do you call it the the greenhouse? So some of the suggestions that I have here, uh, and this is from one of my favorite magazines, Treating Yourself, oh, which Al Al has written in many 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 times. I have an article in that magazine, and and has the honor of uh, kind of continuing on, you know, yeah. with things. So some of the some of the strains that they suggest. Um, 
uh, above the 50th parallel where I am, uh, which is a September 20th to 25th is bonkers. I've never heard of that strain. And oh, yeah. my, there, now I can see. <laughs> I have a glow about me. Um, I'm not sure if this is a, it, 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 it doesn't say if it's a uh, sativa or a uh, dominant. I, I, uh, no, it doesn't say. It doesn't tell you. But anyways, I, I've tried. I've tried bonkers before. Do you know anything about it, Al? I have heard of it. I have smoked it, but I've never grown it. So that's about it. It it's. I can't, I can't recall lots about it. It's an early, it it's an bad. early riser, you could say, right? Um, then you've got things like grapefruit haze, which is in October, uh, up here, uh, mm -hmm. down in the 40th parallel where you guys are. Um, what, what, when do you, when do you crop out, Al? Like, you see Thanksgiving, anytime really, you go know that yeah. far, yeah, anytime. Anytime around there. Avalon is another one which I haven't heard of before. No, uh, that will do good up here. It's got a September, middle of September harvest. And uh, Grape God, I've tried. That's October. Mm -hmm. These all go really late in, eh? October, September. Well, yeah, like could you even grow to that time of the year there? Yeah, because of you know, my green. Did, if you not, experience. Not, not not out just leaving it out now like even now it might be a little too cold for it for the guys that are just outside yeah right but um it it just so people know that the 50th parallel is is vancouver winnipeg newfoundland mm. london berlin huh. and uh you know and then you go down to the 40th parallel which is you know, most of northern ontario or sorry north america uh i can hardly even read these things i need glasses uh istanbul tokyo and and northern afghanistan the you know, northern afghanistan sounds like a good height as a good spot to grow Lots i was just going to say northern northern <laughs> yeah <laughs> afghanistan would be a good place to grow i would think um and then another one, which is actually one I really enjoy, is Time Warp, they suggest. Oh, so yeah. These are, these, and uh, Island Sweet Skunk. Tuxedo Time Warp. Is that the original name? Yeah, I believe that was the original name. Or, or it was somebody grew Time Warp there and called it that. One or the other. This says it's, this is one of uh, British Columbia's most popular outdoor strains. Greg, uh, BC. It's famous because of the easy clone abilities, uh, mold resistance, early flowering, great yields, and last but not least, a great taste, effect, and smell. Everything a serious outdoor cannabis farmer needs to know. Uh, now, Al, you're the experienced grower here between the three of us. Mm -hmm. I, Mary Jane has grown as well, but not like Al does. I mean, I've been in Al's grow room. Okay. <laughs> I'm doing some of the same things. Uh, you've had a tent, correct, Mary Jane? Yeah, I've had a couple. I literally used to tell people I could do a whole segment or series on how to almost kill your plants, but not really. Just kidding. Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> I'm so you know what? I I have I'm not I'm I don't even know. I'm not even gonna finish that sentence because it'll jinx myself. Um, yeah, because no, I've, somebody I've, at I've, the beginning of somebody at the beginning of the season opened up her mouth and, and tried to throw shame at me in my growing abilities and said hey, that my hey, one I, plant my one plant wasn't going to make it. I they said, bet on it. I said three pounds off. This you plant. said I so was going to kill it. I said three you ounces. Said and they I said, there's no way it. that, listen, listen to me. Do I need to pull up the clip? I'll, you can pull it up. <laughs> I, I, I'm exactly what I'm saying. Uh, so <laughs> I said 
three ounces. And they said, there's no way he's going to get that off an auto flower. And it's I said, not, wait, I said, we wait, it's that, an auto, auto flower. Three yeah. An so auto this, flower. well, no, this was, this was what they said. They said, there's no way he's going to get three ounces off an auto flower. And this was while we had a grower on the show and the grower said, Al, you better change that auto. It was in an auto pot where it like automatically waters or whatever. Um, and he said, you better change that quickly into the bigger pot because if they reach the bottom of the pot, it'll flower before it's ready. And I looked at it and it literally looked like it was like this tall, like it was stretched, like it was going to fall over at any minute. So I said, oh, wait, 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 I take it back. I say zero just to like argue with everybody and say like, I actually don't think she likes to argue. I thought girl. I always, I always pick the opposite thing. Even when my dad and I used to watch hockey and he was cheering for the Leafs, I would cheer for whatever team they were playing against just because you got to have some competition. Really? Oh yeah. I, 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 I had 10 cent bets with my dad back in the sixties when the Leafs were you know? winning the cup. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, <laughs> like I was like, I'll tell you right now, Al, I'm wrong, 100% wrong, because you've already passed the point that I assumed was going to fall all, over because I've done all that. three feet uh, high so, and got okay, okay, so we've, this big now. So now I go back to my three ounces. Yeah, let's get back to the. So did you get the three ounces off the plants, off the auto it, flower? It's not done yet. Oh, and, We're and, still going. And, and, oh. and none. There's no end to the story. <laughs> originally, I had thought that I had I had uh, uh, auto flowers. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you don't. And then by by looking them up, the strains and where I got them and all that, because I got everything I got from OCS. Uh, I thought was auto flower, but they weren't. But they were fems, so which is even oh. better. So, so no. you can't even take my answer of zero because you didn't no. even give us the proper information. Okay, if you want, if you want to say it that way, <laughs> see, <laughs> woman. <laughs> oh wait, I gotta remember. I can't do that. This is the three high guys. Uh, she's one of the guys. Sorry, she's one of the guys. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> we discussed that in an earlier broadcast. <laughs> All right. So, so, uh, so you were going to ask a question there on your on your strains or something there to finish off your fight your 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 list. I was. Yeah, yeah. And then we got into this plant that has the three ounces. <laughs> I don't remember any questions. I thought you were going to ask a question. Maybe I was uh, waiting I, for. I, I will I say you were going to because you said since you grow Al. Yeah. Okay. What okay, so okay, I can ask a question. What strains over your growing outside uh have you found that work better than not? Is there anything specific? Out of all my strains that I've grown, it was some that work better outside than and others like do you have like a staple strain that you grow I have every one particular year? I have one particular strain that I've been growing for 14 years. Okay. I'm so smoking that's... A, I'm smoking a joint of it right now. It's called Grape Escape. I've grown it indoors. I've oh, grown it outdoors. Sure. I like that. So it grows great and, outdoors then. Yeah. There. I've yeah. I've gotten two pounds easily off of as an average off of off of these when they're outside. And when you harvest do you let them go a little bit more amber to have like the indica feel like the more sedative yeah. feel or do you, yeah. do you mix I it go a little bit into the, into the amber and then, uh, yank yeah. Them. yeah. And I have, yeah. uh, you know, I've trimmed in the snow. <laughs> yeah. I've heard, I've heard you, I've seen pictures of you doing that. <laughs> Crazy. So, um, uh, well, yeah, no, it, and you know, um, it, it's, you know, it, it's, I've had it tested over the years. You know, people talk you about have, have you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome. People talk about plants, um, you know, as they get older and you clone off them. Like I got this as a clone off of a off of the breeder. So you have a mother of this? Of the great no, babies? No, 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 no. You just no. start fresh from seed. Perpetual garden. No, no, it started as a clone and it's just been a keep it going with cloning. Keep oh, you're cloning. just Take yeah. one, pass it along. <laughs> just keep it going. That's right. Just keep it going. You? So one you just clone, you. you clone off the clones. 
Yeah, yeah. That's what now, that's what you, I used to do when it would get yeah, a little bit say, too tall. I'd I'd chop yeah. off the top and I'd make babies and then I'd flower as soon as yeah. I'd wait for roots. As soon as I seen roots on the the cuttings, I was yeah. like, okay, then I can flower you. <laughs> for anybody who's growing outside that wants to bring them inside, if you haven't already cloned your plants, you should get them done because plants are stretching and they're starting to go into. Oh yeah, uh, in the bloom. Yeah, you can't. Flower. Is this true? You can't clone you can a flowering fly, you can plant. Clone, you can up to a certain point, but well, something you know, that I, I don't push it much more than a week or two. But yeah, yeah I have. Something that done. Marcel mentioned was you can clone uh, a flowering plant that is just started, and then you put it back under the lights and right. shut it off, kind of yeah. like what I did, did yeah. there. So with my northern lights, uh, it I didn't go down for a couple of days, and then I went down, mm. and they were already flowering. So I just picked it up and stick, stuck it in the. I'm not going to stop it; it'll stop itself outside because it's not ready outside yet. The other plants are not flowering yet, right? I, I ended up basically. I've already cloned for my twenty twenty five harvest. Wow. Because you got to, in order to keep those strains going, you got to have them through the winter. You got to keep them alive all winter long in I'm order gonna to be able to bring them out in the spring. So I the ones that cloned in 2024, right? yeah. summer of 2024, they have to live through the winter of 2024, 2025. They're planted outside in the, in the spring. So you'll, you'll bring them in. And then leave them for the winter, and then take them out in the in the in the spring. Correct. Yeah, but I clone often for the throughout the winter. Otherwise, I'd have a massive plan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bring them in. You know, if you got you, if you have you bring them in, you got a, a a small bloom room or something. You can throw them in there when they get to a certain age. Clone off of it. Throw that plant in your little bloom room. Get your other one growing right yeah. while it's growing your other one is blooming you harvest that you got fresh meds for the winter and you take that plant that was vegging and you move it into the bloom room and you clone off of it yeah mm -hmm. that yeah that's all you got to do perpetual A garden. Lot of up and down the stairs with plants <laughs> <laughs> so it just depends on your numbers size you want to do your room so on and so forth so well i've, I've why, if you don't have a bloom room otherwise you know unfortunately it took me a lot of long long time to you know if you have to sometimes unfortunately you do have to kill them off so i okay my last question and then we'll move on to our next segment um i found out when i moved up here that i could legally transport four plants that were not in flower mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So with with this four plant rule, uh, can is it is it four plants in flower or is it four plants? Period. Four plants in total. Yeah. So it doesn't matter if they're in flower or not. Do you no. mean for transport? No, I mean just to have. Just four plants to growing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, growing is four plants per household. Yeah. Oh, no, I know that, but you can't. But like There's yeah, no I can't specific four growing and start new, start new ones. No, if you if you take off. cuttings off those four plants, you now have more Eight. than four plants. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. That's what I'm getting at. Yeah, and you see, and that's the that's the part that sucks. So what I am doing is I'm doing four, and then four, mm -hmm. and then four. Well, this is why a lot of people with their medical licenses request a little bit over so that way they know I have that five if plans on to... my, own, but, um, my doctor's retired so you know mm -hmm. well i mean and you also get your four plants recreational right. grow That's on right. top so of I, whatever I, your medical nine, yeah, in your out. in your caring allowance as well yeah i could put nine out session um out and so that's a uh, five plus four right yeah. but you know what i found when I got here, I had uh, four and then a couple more. 
And it was too much <laughs> for me <laughs> to take care of. I mean, really. Um, so I'm doing I'm doing four at a time, and I will either clone some before mm -hmm. they flower, or mm -hmm. I will uh, just start from seed. And to be honest, I think I'm just going to start my next round from seed because then I'll get a different selection. I'm also t trying to choose my strains. Yeah. So I'm, I'm can, I make, can I make one suggestion? Yes. Um, this is something that I failed to do. This is learning from my mistake. Um, I did what you're talking about doing and I flowered out the entire strain and I'd never tried that strain before. And oh. when I tried the flower, I was like, yeah, and then you fuck liked it. Yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah, always yeah. Need one plant, just one, just in case. If you have I'm to sorry. flower it out after, it's fine. But man, I wish I would have kept one of those. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Oh. I've had some, but then you know, you just get sometimes the numbers. You know, get, you know, the numbers are, are a situation, and you know, yeah. you can only keep so many, right? I so I've taken out full plants because yeah. they didn't. Yeah, you know, if you've got room to have moms and all that, that's one thing, but. When you yeah. don't, you got to do yeah. a perpetual garden or whatever. Yeah. Then. I actually yeah. liked growing I, indoors I, I, in I, a perpetual garden in small batches because you mm. didn't have to trim as much. Like That's you guys right. in your outdoor grows at the end of the season, by the fuck, y'all are looking for friends. <laughs> You're like, hey, you want to come help me trim? Oh, I was sick of it by Christmas. <laughs> you know, I went to my one friend's house uh, for Thanksgiving. Like you said, I went for Thanksgiving yeah. and she handed me a bouquet a bouquet of flowers of like just long stems. And she's like, here, I don't want to trim anymore. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got to the point when I, at the farm, I, I brought everything in. I was worried about molding and stuff. Right. So I yeah. brought every, I pulled everything and I brought everything in and I had it hanging in my bedroom, in the bathroom, in the living room, in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. and, and your whole just, house. I no, well, it was the trailer at the farm, so it didn't matter. Uh, but I got so sick of it. One day, I just said, "I said, fuck this." I packed up the fucking dog and the cat, and I went home for three weeks. Came back, everything was dry. Trimmed it all up. It's still. I was just so sick of it. Yeah, so yeah, sick yeah. of it. Right. All righty, shall we go on to the next segment? Sure. Let's. What are we doing next? Next on the list is sports. sports. Question. When is oh. commercial time? I just need to reheat my tea. Now. We, okay. can do, we can do a commercial now. All right. I'm going. <laughs> make me, you do it, Al. You do it. You do it, Al. Come on. No, I, I'm just kidding. <laughs> You're watching the three high guys with Al, MJ, and the other Al on the 420 pace. Hey, stay tuned. We'll be back after this toke. <laughs> oh, Mary Jane hasn't made it back, but you know what time it is? It is time for. Sports. That's right. It's time for sports. You know, this is the first time I've ever. I you know I've been doing news broadcasts since like 2008, but I have never done a sports news broadcast. So I thought, hey, why don't we add it here to the three high guys? Everybody, you know, uh, we have women's sports, we have male sports, and Olympic we've got sport. we got Olympic sports, and we've got cannabis sports. So I thought what I would start out with was to go around and find out where the professional leagues were when it comes to cannabis. So everybody would have a bit of an idea on what's going on. So in the NBA, they say here, according to this sports cannabis dot life uh, website that I'm looking at, it says that the NBA is leading the charge by agreeing to a green inclusive future in the latest CBA, which is the, the collective bargaining agreement. And they said that in 2023-2024, uh, they announced this decision to cease penalizing 
players for cannabis consumption, effectively removing it from the league's anti-drug testing program. Woo-woo. Woo-woo. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's about time. Yes. The WNBA and the NBA, uh, they say that uh, here, the shooting over the competition, the Brooklyn Nets and the N the New York Liberty made history by coming the first professional basketball team to sign a CBD sponsorship deal. Really? Yeah. I love CBD. it. That's not just, that's just CBD. Yeah. Just say CBD. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, this, yeah. And well, you know, it's, it does significant uh, grow, shows a growing acceptance of cannabis products. Yes, yeah. it does. Although CBD is now the one that they're going after. Yeah. Uh, the NFL, uh, they say here that they've also made significant strides by investing $1 million in researching, studying the effects of cannabinoids on elite football players. And it does say elite. A whole million. A whole million, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, um, they say this is to uh, de- looking at it for pain management, and neural protection. They're doing a study on it. Interesting. Neural protection. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, concussions. Wait, what is, can you right? explain what that is, Al? What neural protection is? Neural protection. That would be, well, I would look at it, uh, protection of the brain uh, mm-hmm. with the concussions that are happening in football. Um, yeah. yeah, protecting uh, one's brain is very important. There's no doubt many, about that. Many- Many years ago, we had Boo Williams and uh, Sasha Lockovic, which is mm-hmm. unfortunately he is gone now, who uh, Boo, an NFL uh, lineman, I think, and uh, Sasha was an enforcer for Calgary, I believe. And they both suffered from concussion syndrome, as yeah. did as did Muhammad Ali. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, several athletes have, you know, had to deal with that. And, you know, if there's some protection within that they can, you know, cannabis, you know, would it be a requirement as a safety thing for the players? Take a little bit of cannabis. Uh, Micro dosing, you know, we were talking about that briefly earlier. Just put some CBD in the the Kool-Aid. Drink the (laughs) Kool-Aid. You know what? Uh, Speaking of Kool-Aid, that wasn't so bad, Mary Jane. Anyways, no. Yeah. Uh, okay. I, I don't okay, drink Kool Aid. <laughs> yeah, we'll get to that one in a minute. Now uh, they say here that uh, retired NFL uh, athletes are leading the charge off field. Former NFL stars such as Rob Sims, Calvin Johnson Jr. Uh, through the company, uh, through the company, have teamed up with the Tigers in a groundbreaking uh, CBD sponsorship. Awesome. awesome. Talking about the benefits of CBD. Now, the UFC, uh, in combat sports, the the UFC's decision to remove cannabis from its banned substances list marks a significant policy shift. They say here that it acknowledges cannabis as a potential as a therapeutic aid rather than a performance-enhancing drug, (laughs) which is very true. Mm -hmm. A performance-enhancing drug. Well, you know, you got to look at it as if, if it can help you relieve your pain it can improve your performance. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, it, it's, it's, it's becoming more and more widely known the effects and uh, relief that you can get by using cannabis. And, and, you know, I mean, we've gotten to the point, speaking of sports, the, the biggest sporting event in the world right now has Snoop Dogg roaming around, <laughs> you know, he he's um the biggest cannabis he's not, he's not smoking any weed cannabis. though nobody's no, no. biggest cannabis uh uh figure in the world yeah. pretty much besides tommy chung and and teach I, and he's there yeah. no i, I did i did look he's up uh, he can't sport, be medical I, I looked up any <laughs> cannabis sports related things news for the olympics uh, I didn't find anything, but if I do down the road, you know, uh, we'll talk about that in another broadcast. Um, they say here that the NCAA has cleared the lane for removing cannabis from the uh, banned substance list. 
at the um, Olympics? NC, no, NCAA. That's the National Cannabis Athletic something. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they see, and then they say here beyond the sports, they talk about the um, policy shift from it being rescheduled from a schedule one to schedule three. But um, that's a whole different subject. But it's good to see that the um, uh, those leagues are that are opening up to that. The players aren't automatically being suspended and having to go, uh, you know, obviously without pay. And so on and so forth. Um, I think baseball was one of the first ones that that accepted it, and and then hockey, and and of course football now, and and cannabis is is built into the basketball uh, thing, you know. So it's yeah. Unfortunately, they don't mention anything in this article on the on the uh, NHL. Um. Yeah. I think it, I think it's one of those things where I, they don't talk about it much. I know that the NFL has has talked about it. You see it in the news now and then. Mm. Baseball, of course, but you when you see it in the news, it's like blah blah blah. Sports announces that cannabis is going to be taken yeah. off the restricted list, but you know what? It it hasn't been yet, and it's uh, talk is cheap. I think people. I think they're waiting to see what happens with the, I, well a lot of the. There's a lot of retired sports people who are now involved yes. in cannabis stores. Ross, Ross, uh, what's well, he his has last his own, name? Has his complete business, right? Ross Raga Bluey, Blue Go Bluey. I can't pronounce his name. Who Ross who, Rebliotti. Thank Rebliotti. you very much. Right. Who uh, several years ago won uh, yeah. a, 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 a snowboarding. And then right. they took it away because he tested positive for cannabis. But now then they gave you it got back, back with yeah, an apology. Can... And yeah. now it's not on the restricted list anymore, I believe. Well, I have an answer for the Olympics. Um, okay. It says here, 2024, uh, the World Anti-Doping Association latest prohibited list still continues to ban THC. Um, yeah. So the Olympics only allows CBD. Oh, well, you know, that's a start. Oh, it's a start. You know, but, yeah. you know, it's that thing, you know, it's, it is a start, but the bus will still go down the road with the wheel missing, but it won't go down <laughs> the road quite as good. Yeah. Right? Are they still testing for it is what I'm getting at. I would imagine. If THC is still a banned uh, Yes, because I will say that somebody in the 2021 Olympics had their um, medal taken from them. They were disqualified or whatever because they had uh, cannabis in their system. THC. Wow. Well, I guess I better not enroll in the Olympics. Yeah, and um, uh, the Olympic yeah. runner, Sherry Richards, she, she uh, the last Olympics, she lost her, uh, her gold medal because of cannabis. Um, so she, she was out back smoking a joint before the event, kind of thing. She probably. got uh, silver. <laughs> this, she got silver this round. I think I remember that. So yeah. So yeah. So there you go. Uh, as far as sports news, uh, we may expand that maybe down the road with a little bit of headline news, a little bit of weather. Uh, I can tell you today it's a little overcast. I can see the sun up there behind the the uh cloud but uh yeah there's it's no, nice there's and no... sunny here now and it's 16 18 outside it's gone it's up very since we it's started very very cloudy in here <laughs> <laughs> it's cloudy in her basement sorry <laughs> in my basement too oh so, yeah. yeah other than that uh it's time to i would say it's time to go for a commercial break and a little promo there and we'll come back with uh, some random topics and rotating topics or whatever you want to call it. So what, 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 what is this uh, uh, G-U-P-T-G-A one? What is that one? G oh, okay. What that is, that is a trauma uh, trauma group. Um, the P-T-G-A. Ah, let's watch it. We'll yeah, be right back. It's, it's dealing with trauma and first responders. It's a group. Okay. Who's helping, yeah, that's what it, that's what it's about. PTSD All right. and first responders. Go ahead. Okay. Stay tuned. We'll be back after this talk. Hi. 
Hi, I'm Timmy. And I'm Mary Jane. He's the newbie. She's the doobie. And this is the show where we'd we tote cannabis. Talk from both sides. Is that even possible? I'm back. I think it was you I was talking to. Yeah, I'm live now, though. Oh, see that? Now she's back. Now she's nervous. Okay, what I can do is I'll give you the mic, okay, and I'll scan around some of your stuff, and you can tell us all about what you're doing here. Okay. So we're selling tickets on the denim jacket by Tommy Chong, signed. And it's five dollars a ticket, and all the money is going directly to the Post Traumatic Growth Association, which is a nonprofit organization that offers peer support for veterans and first responders. So we hope to have raise lots of money so we can put it right into programming um, in Ontario and across Canada. Right. Right. Now the draw. Will be held tomorrow, right? Because people, because the van is still on tomorrow, so there's still time for people to get down here and, and get up on here. on this. Yeah, we do take up cash here, no. or credit or debit, so you don't have to have cash on you. And we have some swag items that we are uh, selling as well. I thought you said hash. No, I don't. Ah. <laughs> no, I don't <laughs> yes, yes. All right, it's super. Uh, where can people, as far as, yeah, where can people find you, like, online? Um, you can type www.ptda.ca or check us up on Facebook, Post Traumatic Growth Association. Oh, I guess that's my cue. <laughs> <laughs> it's my turn. Okay, let's get to the events. Uh, like I said, it is the 80s month, so here in Belleville, we are celebrating with an all-80s uh, comedy tribute on 0808 at 8 p.m. Um, with, of course, the super funny comedian Timmy Boyle. Uh, then, uh, upcoming August 16th to the 18th in Pine Lake, Alberta. Super excited for this one, too. Camp Canna is happening. I think it's their third year, if I'm not mistaken. I believe um, so. Yeah. yeah, it's a uh, it's a different vibe than Camp Canna, Ontario. It's well, I guess Ontario and Alberta are different vibes. So uh, super fun. They're going to have like a lot of activities going on there that weekend. Um, also that weekend, uh, because I'm not going. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to make it out to Camp Canna. I will be going to Toronto to the comedy bar to watch uh, what I believe is a lot of stoner. Um, like we all, we all grew up in the stoner culture and I, I don't know another comedian that, you know, exemplifies stoner culture more than Polly Shore. Mm. Oh, so, on. so I'm going to go see the weasel um, <laughs> on August 17th in Toronto. And then in Ottawa, Ontario, on August 20th, if you're out in that area, Tether Buds is having a sampling event. They're celebrating their three-year anniversary. So sampling if you're a bud event. tender, yeah, if you're a bud tender and you're in the Ottawa area, get your get yourself uh, a, a ticket and make sure you go. Tether Buds is awesome. You're gonna love them. Well, that's awesome. it. That's okay. August. If anybody has any events that I haven't said, please let me know because I have to do this again next week. <laughs> yeah, please let us know, one of us anyways, uh, and, and if you let us know, uh, you get uh, multiple shows that you might get mentioned on. So um, uh, We need to do a, a, a little thingy for a recipe corner, so I'll just go, recipe corner without... <laughs> 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 all righty Re recipes okay you know be, it's summer out right mm -hmm. so why not i thought why not get something that you could drink 
in the summertime um, that you could enjoy. And I've, I've found here uh, for anybody who wants to follow it afterwards, look for it afterwards, if you go to pace hyphen. Um, <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Say, hey, it's been a long time pace let's try that again okay <laughs> hey, pace hyphen online.ca uh or through pace radio.net um you can find the magazine grassroots advocate each of the issues is listed there and we need each issue is a recipe so i'm on issue one right now and uh, the, the uh, recipes that I've got listed here is from eatyourcannabis.com. And it is a can of creamsicle smoothie. Oh. Like, yeah. Exactly. Mm. <laughs> like, can you eat that, Al? Huh? Can you eat that? Uh, yeah, I can drink this. Drink hey, what's in it? What's in this? Put it into a fucking this ice cream makes, machine maker. This this makes four smoothies. You, obviously, yeah. you need a blender. Uh, you need orange juice, or if you want any other juice, right? Mm -hmm. um, a cup of can of milk or cannabis almond milk. So that's something that you would have to prepare ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Just a um, suggestion: don't buy silk. <laughs> they fixed that. Uh, have they? Until yeah, the by now time. for sure. Oh, I know that they reported more people got sick. They do. If you worry about that, don't buy any food. Yeah. Uh, I haven't. Seen, I haven't seen any on the shelf yet. So, but uh, yeah, a can of milk or can cannabis almond milk, uh, a cup of water, eight ice cubes, uh, three tablespoons of sugar. Uh, one teaspoon of vanilla extract and a quarter cup of fresh fruit of your choice is optional. Okay. Now, uh, they say set the ice aside, combine all the remaining ingredients into the blender, begin blending and gradually add ice one cube at a time and uh, blend until smooth, pour and serve. There you go. That would be yummy in an ice cream machine maker. Sure would be. Eh? Uh, I made yeah. I made a uh, medicated a creamsicle ice cream. Same kind of thing. I should have brought that up. There we go, right there. There you I go. I feel like I feel like yeah. next week the recipe should be how to make can of coconut oil or coconut milk. You know, I did that in in the, in the magazine. Uh, I do as they go on. I actually yeah. have the recipe how to make can of um, coconut oil. Okay. A, along with the recipe that requires it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, you said can of coconut oil, but what about coconut milk? Or uh, almond milk? No, it's do almond just, milk. It's can of milk or cannabis almond milk. So how do you put it, cannabis easy, coconut oil into it? You just put it in and mix it really good. That's all. The milk well, binds I, the oil I really I would good. assume you would heat the milk or the almond yep. milk the same that you would heat butter or coconut oil. Throw it all into the magic cannabis butter. Cannabis in there. Infuse sure. your milk. Yep. Uh, and then you would strain if you wanted to. Most people do. Not everybody does. Strain out your plant material. And then there you go. You got your can of milk. Um, yeah, you lost me at heating up milk. <laughs> I was had, like, you never had warm milk when you're a kid. No, you just have it's to gross. watch the heat, Mary Jane. Because what do you perfect. what do you put in your coffee, tea, or or hot chocolate? Do you add any milk? I put cold milk. Cold milk. Yeah, yeah. well, it heats up, doesn't it, when it's in there? Yeah, but it's not just. Ugh. I don't yeah, know. I know it's it's a, that's, yeah. a mental <laughs> thing. that's a mental yeah. thing. Cream cheese. You put it on a bagel, it heats up. But like, yeah, you don't want you don't need to boil it. Just get it warm. Like See, I, I was, said, I was wondering uh, if you could just make like put a tincture, an oil tincture yes, into you it. Can. You can. Yes. You could probably. Yeah, yeah. You probably could. Sure. Why not? Or yeah. you could just use put your magical some... butter machine, and it'll warm it up for you while it's mixing. Mm -hmm. yeah. you, with with warming milk, anything dairy, you have to watch because at a certain point it will curdle. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm assuming it was dull yeah. too, right? or or what they call in the baking world scorch. Scorch. I thought it was scald. Scorch. Scald the milk. 
scolding, scolding. You've been a bad glass of milk. Not scold, scalding. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Now, because you, you were sitting on your patio back enjoying your smoothie, I also added into there some cannabis pastry bites. Ooh, ooh. Oh, oh. Yeah. Uh, you can see there you need a baking sheet, parchment paper, two sheets of puff pastry dough, a half a cup of fruit fillings of your choice, a half a cup of can of hutter, honey, and a quarter, cup, would be good in that. A quarter cup of uh, can of butter. Cranberries. Cranberries? Sure. Yeah. Well, and I can't get any fucking uh, uh, raspberries because the fucking bears ate them. Yeah. yeah. There's some instructions there on how to awesome. do all that. I like puff pastries, but I'm not a baker. Yeah. I don't. I bake cookies and I make meatloaf and roasts. That's what I make. <laughs> uh, no, puff pastries are the best you could go meat filling cheese filling yeah. egg filling you could go fruit you could not you could yeah the options they, are endless do you have yes. you ever tried uh, did you ever try the medicated baklava that they had at uh um uh, buddy brings yeah. to the he was bringing them to the events in hamilton and and it's baklava made like you would get at the hungarian restaurant but medicated in Oh, it was so good. Yeah, I can't eat a lot of people's infusions because everybody's dose is a lot higher than mine, and I'll get fucked up off one bite. How are you doing with the uh, uh, with the diamonds? diamonds? Do you like them? They're great. They're I'll have them probably till the end of the year. I, I I'm using it in the in the. Do you like diamonds, Al? Oh, I don't mind them. No. Are we done with the food stuff? We are done with the food stuff. That's right. Yeah, you I, don't then, I, then, I, then, then I'm good to keep chatting because we're in our chat, chit we're, chat segment. We're in the chit chat segment. We already right. did the interview already. That's what that was for. And I, I so <laughs> I got to relabel these things. We're going to run different interviews as well every show, little short things from from uh uh stuff that the three of us go to from um, event events or things that we participated in you know yeah. the globe marijuana march all that stuff or the 80 show yeah 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 i think one day we'll even run uh the uh maybe next week we can run the uh uh chat that you had with tommy at uh grow up oh yeah yeah we can yeah. run that next week that's yeah, that's all available there. Do we, we can run do we, we have can run one? I was just gonna say we can run that as well when you're oh, talking, when first. you're on your knees, when you're on your knees begging for sex with Tommy Chung. I was not <laughs> begging for sex from Tommy Chung. Okay, you were cool. Shelby. You were if I was drooling. begging yeah. anybody if I was, was drooling Shelby. over anyone, it was Shelby. She doesn't want oh, Tommy, she just wants Shelby. Shelby's uh, beautiful. Yeah. Oh. I've yes, I've is. got um well, you got sample. samples. Sample. That's right. Grow What's up that? Samples. What's uh, this is from the uh, Victoria Cannabis Company. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is uh Pamelo Skunk. Okay. It's a rock oh, star pa cross with Pamelo Citric. Pardon oh. me. I said, is it Palmelo? Yes. So Citrique is amazing. It's a really cool it? sativa. It's really good. What is it crossed with? Uh, Rockstar. Oh, that's going to be a treat. It's, uh, I got, oh. um, it's a one gram joint. Oh, nice. Yes, one gram joint. It's a, it was a sample. And yeah. it says here it's 29% THC, total terpenes at 2.4%. Nice. That's what it says. That's probably really and tasty. This was easy to open. <laughs> there we go. Doobie. Yes. Got a mosquito. Oh, sorry, I thought you were calling me Doobie. Oh, I got, oh, mosquito, oh. Jeeber. 
<laughs> you just, you, you're a killer, Al. You just killed the fly. He's trying to get out of my ear. So, yeah. yeah. We'll see what it's like. Oh, it's a nice container. Yeah, I really appreciate the cannabis companies that are thinking about the packaging. Um, like, I, I really don't like getting my vape cartridge in one of these containers. Oh, it's like crazy. Thin dude too. Only this big. Yeah, <laughs> but I understand you have to put a big label on it, right? Um, general admission. No, not general admission. Uh, who is it? Tribal. Which is also Nugs, which is also yeah. um, CBD. Oh, I can't remember their um, Orchid CBD. They all sell their <laughs> vape in a very nice, it's the same tin that you would sell pre rolls in, like three pre rolls or four. there's buttons on it. It snaps open. I use that for my joints all the time. Like, it's so handy. So I'm like, thank you for not thinking, yeah. like, thinking about not, this not just getting tossed somewhere <laughs> in the garbage or, you know. Yeah, reuse it for pre-rolled pre -rolled I dude. I've what taken, yeah, I've taken, <laughs> I get this cough, holy smoke. <laughs> Good shit, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Like, but you're not um, supposed to be coughing off it. Well, they say you don't get off unless you cough. Cough to get off. <laughs> now the um, that's so nineties. Actually, nineties <laughs> to me just not long ago. <laughs> oh, oh, hang on, I'm getting a phone call. Let me just hello. <laughs> It's for you. It's for you. <laughs> I'm going to watch a Hot Tub Time Machine later on today. That's one of my favorite movies. It's the 80s, but it's not the 80s. because That they get movie that back. we were talking about the other night that you said from your childhood that you want to see. Oh, it's from Timmy's. Timmy's, so, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. It, it's available. Let's just say that already. <laughs> yeah, it's in the theater. <laughs> It's available. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, um, I will tell you that <laughs> that poor actor has gotten slammed from like all of the roles that he's taken. Um, and the movie itself is getting slammed because I knew it was called Harold in the Purple Crayon, just like the book. I knew Timmy said he liked the book when he was it a kid. Follow the movie. It doesn't follow the book though, does it? Apparently it's a sequel to the or to the book. <laughs> Oh, and as wow. soon as I told Timmy that, he was like, wait, what? It's a sequel? I'm like, yeah, apparently he's like an adult and that's why he's grown up. And it's like, it's like, this is a sequel. And Timmy's mm -hmm. like, oh, <laughs> now he's like, I don't know if I want to go see it now. <laughs> are, are you looking forward to Beetlejuice? Yes. Yeah. We're going to go with the well. family. And did you watch either of you? Al doesn't watch many, much TV, but uh, did you see? Uh, the new, do you watch TV? Uh, did you see Axel F yet? Oh, yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. We watched that. What'd we you watched think the, the first, we watched all of them just so we could catch up. I watched, um, I, 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 I tried to watch them, but I got stuck on two because it wasn't very good, and three yeah. sucked. But so, did you like Axel F? Um, yes, and no. I felt yeah. like it was very forced family connection, father, daughter. They could have just played it very differently without all of the I sentimental lovey dovey shit. Like Yes, it wasn't very funny. It wasn't comedy. Yeah, like it, it, not like the others. It feels like that pandaverse. One of the things that Eddie Murphy said in an interview is that after the first after the the movies were done. He had to literally stop himself from doing that laugh. Okay. But that's his natural laugh. So he yeah. had to stop himself because everybody wanted him to do the laugh. So it was hard for him to start <laughs> back up again doing the movie. Yeah. Right. And and I one of the things again. that one of the complaints that people are are giving about the movie is that there was no banana in the tailpipe. 
And, and he commented about that. And he said that that's the one thing that, that he did not want to do. He said no banana in the tailpipe. Really? Because that was the big scene where he puts the banana in the tailpipe and then jumps, jumps into the back of the car. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So they did the jump in the back of the car, but there was no banana. It wasn't slapsticky like it was. Did you see it, Al? No. 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 It's on Netflix still. Yeah, no. We we do watch movies, but you know, half sometimes the crappiest movie I'll stay awake and a real good movie I'll fall asleep. Exactly. I remember I the, the first time I fell asleep in the theater. In a theater oh, during yeah. the movie, yeah. was was one of Chuck Norris's uh, movies. I think it was like uh, Delta Force Four or something like that. Uh-huh. And I literally fell asleep in the theater. Okay, so you what did you? Go ahead. I just have you ever had a bad movie experience? Yeah, Alexander. Yeah, the first, the first Freddy Krueger movie. <laughs> it scared the shit did out. Yeah. I I I had one. <laughs> uh, I was I wasn't quite. I was probably 17, 18, somewhere around there. Is that that? Was it the movie or something? I was was, was in my buddy's van, anyways. But we, you know, we did did some drinking. We went to the went to the theater in Toronto, and we watched uh, the Chainsaw Massacre. Oh, Uh, uh 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 people, (laughs) the people who sat in front of me. Quickly had to move their feet. <laughs> oh, people were throwing up, uh, just like the Exorcist, oh, movie, the Exorcist movie. Really? People were throwing up in the theater and everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, another one that, that caused stuff like that was, uh, oh, the one with Tom Hanks there. Um, uh, Is that the one he's talking to the ball? No, no, where the guy at the beginning is beating himself. And he does that through the whole movie. It was like the second or third one. Uh, Tom Hanks, um, and it's uh, Robert. Uh, he plays a scientist, and he's. Oh, uh, it'll come back to me while I'm thinking of that. What did you think of uh, uh, Deadpool and Wolverine, Mary Jane? Um, it, it was interesting. Um, it was Deadpool and, and yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I I know X Men. I used to watch X Men back in the day because the guy I was seeing loved superhero stuff. Um, but Gee, then so does the one that you're seeing now. <laughs> yes and no. Yes and no. He's not crazy like like which is so funny because my current boyfriend has a fucking whole trophy room with GI Joes and fucking eighties memorabilia in it, and my other That's one cool. never did. But this one's not crazy that I have now. <laughs> but um, I didn't know. Like, I've seen Deadpool, seen Wolverine, know the both characters, understand that they both can't die, but was not expecting the, no, the, spoiler alert. Spoiler the, the, op- no, no, the opening scene, the credit <laughs> scene at the very beginning with the, the um, Deadpool uses a metal skeleton wolverine's skeleton because i guess wolverine's dead and is made of metal because that's wolverine right with the in his hands so anyways he proceeds to use him as a weapon to kill like there's so much so much blood and that and i'm not like i wasn't grossed out i wasn't throwing up because like whatever i know it's all fake but this um, was um this was disney's first this was disney's first x-ray not x-rated r-rated movie so it was 14A here in Canada. 16. So a lot of parents are actually like frustrated because they didn't think that this would be because it's like you said, it's a Disney movie. It's kids like they thought that, that it would be OK. Let's, for let's the put it this way. Let's put it this way. OK, the first one was a superhero movie. The second one was a, a, a movie about a depressed superhero who was trying to kill himself. Yeah, and but now, still- we have the, now we have the third installment with which is uh two depressed superheroes trying to kill each other yes and then see, they save the world Dead, deadpool you yeah. say you the first one was a superhero movie but like it was not it was not good for kids the first one no nor the none second of them are. None so of i them don't are. understand why parents are freaking out now is it cuz they added because, wolverine 
because Deadpool is a comic book character and kids love him. And he's right now like. I, so I in the got, in the comic book, was he not the same attitude? I, I, you know what? I don't know. The only thing I know about Deadpool is the three movies. That's it. Yeah. See, that's my knowledge too. Yeah. I yeah. heard the um, did you, I did I see there's that. a. There's a QR code hidden in that movie. For and if you shit? watch it, you know, if you, if you like scan it, it'll take you to um, Ryan Reynolds, like uh, talking about how they literally just made that movie as like a big fuck you to Disney. Well, if you watch, <laughs> if, and when you see the movie, if you see it, you'll see a lot of, there's a lot of slaps to a lot of different people. Yeah. Including, including Toronto. Uh, the fact that Ryan Reynolds is is from Toronto. I don't yeah. want to give anything yeah. away, but there's there are a lot of cameos. Yeah. Well, they're um, both Canadian, right? I read, I read one, uh, I read one uh, thing. They said that uh, they tried. They went after all the different superheroes from over the years. They tried to get. Um, Ghost Rider, but he didn't want to do it. He did not want to uh, be a part of it. So yeah, I just want Nicholas to say that Cage, I'm talking Marvel, about. Marvel is genius because this whole multiverse shit allows so many different storylines with one character. And I watch all of the different, the <laughs> all of the different Justice Leagues in a row. Yeah. Not necessarily Justice League, but it was, you know, and then I watched Flash. I loved the Flash. I, I thought that was fucking fantastic. They even brought in Christopher Reeves as as a Superman. Yeah. Right? Mine was mine was Ant Man. I was like, how in the fuck is Paul Rudd? I can't get into it. I've tried to watch it several times. I, I can't get into that. I love it. Uh, and like Ant Man's even in is uh, I don't know if you've seen Ant Man's uh, cameo. That's Ra the Rock, and I haven't seen the cameos. No, not the Rock. That's um, Paul Rudd, Ant Man. Isn't Ant Man? So what does the one that the Rock just did? Oh fuck! I don't. Oh know. yes, I, I remember Ant Man. Man. I I'm not, I I can't help you out in any of this, guys. I know you know you're not into any of that. <laughs> Ant Man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, you know, I was, uh, you know, um, Batman and Robin, you know, pow. Yep. I um, saw the original Batman and Robin movie with my dad at the Mount Pleasant Theater, in Toronto. I just watched them on TV, the cartoon. I no, went to watch I, the best I, Batman movie with my movie. dad. I went to see the movie. Flintstones yeah. at noon. The Flintstones every day at noon. Commander hey, Tom did you, in the morning. Did you hear that? Did you hear the theory about the Flintstones and the Jetsons? They were no. they were neighbors. So we've always thought that the Flintstones lived in the past in like the Stone Ages right. and that the Jetsons lived in the future. Right. But there's a theory that they actually lived at the same time and that the Flintstones didn't live or don't live in the past. They actually live in the future as well. They live in a desolate earth. That's how they know about bowling. And that's how they know about all this stuff because this oh, is, man. yeah. And, oh, and the Jetsons are Somebody's the ones been that doing a little bit too many shrooms while they're sitting in the bathroom thinking about shit. There are all <laughs> kinds of theories out there. My favorite are the Mandela effects. The ones where it's like um, Richard Simmons. Uh, apparently he never had a sweatband that he never wore a sweatband yet oh, okay. every single Richard Simmons costume comes with a sweatband and an afro well oh. he did have an afro yeah but no sweatband apparently I had hair like that uh, you'd have to google pictures of him to see if he's wearing a sweatband no, um, you know what I that's find the thing. Amazing. That's, that's the thing with these uh, Mandela effects some woman said even to her therapist I vividly remember Fruit of the Loom logo having a cornucopia. And the therapist said to her, you need to let this go. It's driving you crazy. So the woman said, 
fuck you. And she spent years searching thrift stores, online, closet, everywhere. She found, yeah, go scour the internet. If you search up Fruit of the Loom, they swear that people who remember the cornucopia are crazy. What's the cornucopia? What's the cornucopia? So you know the um thing at uh, Thanksgiving that sits on the table, that like horn looking the horn, thing yeah. Crazy. Yeah, it was in multicolored. Yeah. Nope. They tell us doesn't exist. There's things <laughs> like Nelson Mandela died in jail. No, he didn't. No, uh he Britney didn't. Spears did the uh, during a concert, she used to wear that headpiece thing that they swear she never did. Yes, she Curious did. George doesn't have a tail. Um Fruit Loops uh, is spelled come on F-R-O-O-T. Now. You're right. I, I, I'm oh. like, there's so many things. I'm like, to me, it just, oh, you know, Mr. Rogers, it's a beautiful day. Oh, don't you dare. Don't you fucking dare. What's the next line? It's a beautiful day. A beautiful day in the neighborhood. A nope. beautiful day in the neighbor. No. Nope. It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood. This neighborhood. Oh, Please. Not the. Go watch all the videos. All the videos say this. I'm like, no. <laughs> How is my brain <laughs> fucked up? And it's not just my brain. It's everybody else's too. Uh. So you want to talk about popping mushrooms? Here's the theory on the Mandela. Uh, I'm going to have to go do some mushrooms or something to come just, so I can join so, you guys during this conversation. So, no, this is, this is perfect. So if you watch um, Deadpool and Wolverine, they talk about the multiverse. And you see all the different multiverses. They say the reason why we have the Mandela effect is because we are shifting through like the different levels of our, our realities are like so finite, finite, minute, whatever, finite. I just created Mm. a new word that we just kind of shift in between, but all of us come from here and we're like, oh yeah, Britney Spears had the mic and Curious George has a tail. Like, what yeah. are you talking about? He's a monkey. The, you know, being told that what you see is not what you see. Oh. It's one of those move on topics. <laughs> Dude, everything is made of the same shit. The fact that this this lighter is made up of the same fucking matter that I made up is just put this, together differently. Uh, see this? See this blue lighter? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Al's colorblind. <laughs> no, it's blue. Really? Honestly, it's blue. Yeah. Oh, this joint is still here. It hasn't. I still got it. Did you forget about it or did you just keep going no, out? It just keeps going out. I had some uh, pink kush from. Pure sunflower, I think it's called. Yeah. Pure sunflower. And, you know, yeah, thank you. Uh, I I enjoyed it. it. I needed something different. Yeah. I was I I've been smoking uh, a, a lot of shatter. I think they're there. pink. I think they grow a pink Kush. It it's is really a Kush. Good. Yeah, kush. The, I think yeah, that's one of my favorite strains. Have you, have you, that that's one of the strongest strains available. There's a I like I like it because it's inexpensive. It's it's. The bar, yeah, it's like a, it's on point. Have you ever done an autopsy on a pre-roll joint? Will yes. You take it open, time. yeah. Before I smoke it, though. Y- yeah. <laughs> yeah. Every not a after. Late. A little late afterwards. <laughs> well, normally you autopsy things after they're dead. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> I don't kill the doobie first. <laughs> but no, Do I. You roll yours sometimes, smoke. huh? What's that? I don't smoke a pre-roll. That I'm giving. I don't like pre rolls. Like I will re roll. Yeah, I want to see what's in there because I'm judging you. Yeah. How fine are you and, grinding and, it? You know, I I wonder how much usually too much has to do with even the paper as well. You know, you know how much? So this one here the, is the, flat. See how it's yeah. flat on the top? Correct. I don't you like can't... these ones because if you actually pull out the paper, oh, there's one fold. Yeah. Right. Yeah. How much paper is in here on the end? And then that first hit is literally just all paper. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I no thank you. 
we 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 ran into some of them during the um pre-roll of the uh karma cup where they had like, it folded cup kind of thing yeah we had to open them up because uh you couldn't do a uh, it was harder to do a dry uh haul on them That's yeah there you go favorite. twisting yeah you that you can just light up and let it burn like a wick yeah, see, I'll pick, I'll bite that right off. But like the fact that that would have been lit in the first puff, yeah, it doesn't help the joint light. This, yeah, this one wasn't that way. Yeah, I yeah. know why they do this because it helps hold the weed all in better. But like, yeah, it does. I've gotten a few of those that were just open, and mm. and it was empty, and and everything was in the in the container. Oh, uh, really? Hold on a second. Oh, yeah. yeah. Doing I've I've actually called the oh, companies yeah. and let's, complained let's, and let's, just let's... let them know, like, hey, just so you know, this batch, this number or whatever, it came through with yeah. this problem. Okay. I'm gonna reach into my bag bag here. Your stash. And I'm gonna randomly see what happens. Yeah, this is actually from the same company, the Victoria, I mean, the the um, Victoria Cannabis Company. Okay. Oh, you, you just it. happen to pull out the same company? Yeah, 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 is, yeah. I just, is that the same strain? What the hell? No, this is Georgia Pie okay. crossed with Z-Wish. It's oh. an indica dominant. So the other way. Yeah, this is, only, this is only a half a... Half, uh, Half a gram, half a gram joint. Point five. It is thirty six point seven percent on the THC end. Well, while Al's opening that, let's talk about next week. Next week's show, we're 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 all three. I think we're busy. I have a guest. But the following show, which is the the will be the twentieth, uh, I think, right? Um, Mary Jane's going to make us breakfast. What? Say what now? <laughs> I haven't even eaten myself. Oh, that'd be funny. You can't eat yourself. Mm. Medicated muffins. Mary Jane's going to make us medicated muffins next week on the Three High Guys. Two weeks. Two, Two weeks. weeks. Two weeks. No banana, please. You'll be crying. You'll be crying. And I'll say, oh, I can't have nuts. No nuts. I'm not allowed to eat peanuts or anything like that. You're both you're both nuts if you think I'm making muffins. <laughs> <laughs> Just because my last name's Baker. Don't let it fool you. <laughs> oh. That's funny. Okay. That's exactly why now, I changed it to Baker. I was yeah. just going to say, I was going to say, I, I, I know where there are some videos of you making stuff in your kitchen online. So. Is I'm just there? too busy. I'm just too busy. It's my birthday tomorrow. I got no time. <laughs> I got my birthday. Blah, Timmy's blah, show's blah. coming up. It's like too much. Blah, 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 blah. blah okay. Blah. Can you, I don't know. Can you uh, can you see what I got in my hand? Yeah. It's very, very crummy. <laughs> it's green. That's it green. is. There's there's no lumber. Good. But, but is it ground too much? It's really it's really fine. Powdery. Um. I've had stuff that wouldn't even light. Oh really? It was so powdery. Yeah, it was wouldn't even light. Do you relight a joint one if it smells goes good. out? Smells good. Smells good. Do you, do you like? Will you relight a joint if it goes out, Al? Yeah. I, I know a lot of people who won't. They'll just re-roll a new depends one. Depends on depends on how big it is. It depends on the joint itself, right? If now, it's I, any I, less I, than this, it feels like I didn't get enough when I relight. I get it. real angry when they fall apart in mid smoke. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I where'd that fucking glue go? <laughs> <laughs> Zigzag does that a lot. Sorry, Zigzag. So I am I'm putting this uh, this uh joint back into a blue gazette. 
you can put it back in. You know what you need to do uh, maybe next show, Al, is uh, let's show people how your Happel works because, uh, uh, and maybe you could contact Dave, see if he wants to come on the show and talk about it. Talk about it. Right. Or maybe even make one while we're or on the could, show. You can tell us how to use it. That's right. Because I have no idea how to use those fucking things. Wow. That's, um, they're so cool. And did you see the, the upgrade in? Did you see the upgraded Apple? No, I, I, you know what? I've been, I have known Dave for a long time. Dave, Dave, uh, we talk with Dave a lot at the different events. Um, and we've had him on shows, but, um, I've never seen a Apple. I watched him come up with the design and make them and stuff like that, but I've never actually seen one. And then Al got one and I'm like, Oh, Oh yeah. It's, um, it's nice to have with the group. I'm getting, I'm getting used to using it solo. <laughs> Are you? Yeah. Yeah. I you know, I like my student glass. I use it, uh, as my vaporizer in the living room. And I don't even put water in it anymore. So it fills up both chambers and it keeps me going for a while. Right. I hardly ever spun the thing. So I'm like, what's the point of having water in it? I can't oh. handle that. You know, it's well, streaming. It, 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 forces, it, it forces it down. You, down right. you. I mean, the cat likes it. You know, the cat comes up, jumps up beside me. And then I do it a couple of spins and he's like, he just sticks his face in the fucking smoke. Eh? It's fucking hilarious. Yeah. They were always, uh, you know, run into them at those events. And, uh, Al, uh, oh, with, with the student glass or, yeah, or, yeah, 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 yeah. And then I'd have to, Al, hey, why don't you have a talk with this and let everybody watch you? <laughs> the, the, uh, first time I saw one of those was on Bar Rescue, actually. They were developed to infuse drinks and mm. food. Right, because you can you can slide the hose into a dome or a glass and infuse whatever you've got in there, because the smoke as it settles clings to whatever food items are in there, especially if they've got grease, of course, right? Yeah. And uh, with drinks, you just stick the hose in there, give it a few, it bubbles out, and infuses your drink. You can put a shot right in the thing. I'll bring it on the show one day. I have it in my living room. But I, I quite enjoy it. It's the only yeah. bong I have. Well, that's not true. I have the I have a regular bong. I don't do bongs, right? I have my shatterizer. I I'm, on my, I'm on my 20th battery. <laughs> when I get whenever I get an office set up, maybe someday I'll I'll show you. I'll get my vapor bong out. I've seen your vapor bong, the big one. Yeah, mm. I've seen that. Yeah, that's uh, a raw, your the raw 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 one that you want. They're treating yourself uh, custom roar vapor bomb. And uh, just basically you heat to the top. Think of a bong reversed. Instead of inhaling off the top of your bong, you inhale off the side stem. And your cannabis, you put your cannabis in a chamber that you put, and then you put a heat source in. So that heat source heats up the cannabis as it goes by and it vaporizes it. And well, brings you know, it down a tube through some water and some very ingenious kids came up with the idea of using a, a pop bottle and a jar and making the first gravity bong. You stick you stick a bowl on the top of it and you just let it go down and it just fills up with smoke. Right, the the kids. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna say I, I like I don't mind this in 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 your own uh, paper in my own paper yeah I can taste it and stuff yeah I don't like pre rolls because I don't like raw paper I, at all I don't ever give me a doobie with raw because <laughs> uh, you can taste it and but I I don't mind the gazes and I don't <laughs> mind the um, the non hemp. Uh, Canadian lumber, oh, yeah. right? But I mean, I prefer the Ziggies with the with the corner cut, mm. right? Or yeah. a gazay, a green gazay, green gazay. This God is how I you. buy my papers. By the box. By well, the box. You know what? 
I, buy my I, buy box. I've had I've had a lot of of stuff given to me, papers, and I'm just now running out since I've been here. So uh, when What's I your options right now, like as far I'm, as store wise for you to buy papers up there, uh, you know Tyler here at my cannabis here in Terrace Bay, oh. he he'll order anything that I ask for really, uh, but he's. Uh, about to get the uh, the new uh, Rockstar pre rolls from uh, Shatterizer. Okay, nice. I hooked Matt and him up. I did. Yeah, yeah I did. So, um, uh, so that he can get uh, units in there for for people's gun. Good. 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 I might even have a few here that uh, for. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Okay. Well. <laughs> Well, Anything else offhand, or shall we wrap things up? We went a little bit longer. We were going to do ninety minutes, but I see we're at uh, one hundred. <laughs> it's up to you guys. It's up to you no, guys. I think, I think we said everything we were supposed to say. Yeah, I think we did. Yeah, supposed to. Say. <laughs> <laughs> but we had to, what we had to planned and discussed. Uh, you know, to give people a bit of an idea of what they could come. And see on our weekly broadcast once we get into the weekly mode. Uh, unfortunately, we're all sort of uh, two of us, at least. Anyways, I know we're, are, are busy next week, so yeah, it's summer exactly. But you know, we're looking at uh, having topics such yes, as the yes. health, the health stuff that uh, Mary Jane talks about with the daily motivational tip and the health and wellness. Uh, and we'll do more who, movie stuffs and stuff. Yeah. That you Al, you'll have more lists to do. Um, yeah, next week is going to be the top 10 seed banks. I'm going to look up some seed banks in, in Canada. Nice. For All your right. Seed choices. Yes. Yeah, basically more of what you've seen. More sports, yeah, yeah, more entertainment, yeah. more news, more fun. Mm -hmm. And if there's anything you'd like to see, anything you'd like to know, send us a comment, a question, and we'll do our best to answer. And yeah. don't forget to check out Al's stuff at paceradio.net and my stuff at uh, 420radio.ca where you can also find Mary Jane's stuff. Yeah, and yeah. Then, you can get, then you can catch the combination of the two networks together on Saturdays on the re-rolled Saturday broadcast. That yep. starts at 8 o'clock in the morning. And, uh, for example, this last weekend probably would have ran until about 10 p.m. at night straight through. Nothing about cannabis and psychedelics programming and promotional stuff that we cr we have created right here uh, on the network. And the main reason that we do that is so that we can annoy YouTube and have them ban us. Yeah, yeah. And uh, just so you know, we get a message from Bud Chronicles 420. He says hello to hello. all. Hey. Hello. Cheers. Hello. Cheers. And goodbye. <laughs> And even before we even went, before we close out, we, we had a message also earlier. This was from Justin Jenkins. That was he before had, the show. Yeah. That was before the show. He sent he sent that to us uh, at 930. So that I would assume he saw that uh, the broadcast was upcoming and um, sent us a greeting. So that was good. Of him. So. Yeah. And, you know, as we go on, uh, I mean, there'll be more people that I'm sure join us on a regular for, for our breakfast show. Uh, this is the first time I've done a morning show in all these years. I, I, I mean, we did, uh, I, I was, I guess it's not because I used to sit up with, uh, Tamara and do cannabis and coffee in the morning with her. Yeah. Although I didn't say anything. <laughs> yeah. Scared. Yeah. You're, you'd be running the board, uh, yeah. in behind for sure. Yeah. But as far as, uh, and you know, um, this was the first run through, uh, we didn't do any practicing or warm ups or anything like that so all we did was discuss it uh and uh we got her done i feel like i go back to the statement of the day you don't have to be perfect when you start but you need to start if you want to be perfect and more messages from bud chronicles he says i shared you out to my community tab absolutely love the cast much love to you and your family always and i will put notifications on much go. love right back to you. Thanks, and bud. Forward to the next thing that we do because we haven't played it yet. All right. 
Let's say good night. Let's say good night. <laughs> have, yeah. have an enjoyable rest of your day, everybody. And um, it could be nighttime when you watch this, just like Al this says. This is true. Tonight. And if it is, good night. Yeah. <laughs>